If you are viewing this video, it's a good chance that you for your own classroom or your school is looking to implement PBIS, Positive Behavior Intervention Strategies. I wanna share my experience with you. In just my third year, I was introduced to this at the school and we, it was a school-wide goal that was implemented and we started using it. Now, 10 years later, I still use it in my own classroom if the school does not have it. I'm gonna share my experience with you from middle school, high school, from schools that were close to Title I, English language learner schools, to schools that were very well off. So the first thing I wanted to say is if it's done correctly, PBIS has the ability to change a school's environment. It also has um, the ability to change a school's culture in terms of like what people think about coming to school or their attitude about courses in the school. But it also doesn't increase teachers' workloads, which is wonderful. As a teacher, I don't want more on my plate. So the misconceptions, the first one and biggest one that I hear is everyone gets a trophy. And this is not true. Everyone should not be getting a trophy. The second one is there's no more discipline. This does not replace discipline. You can still get in trouble. You can still receive consequences. And then the last one is that it's gonna be more work on a teacher's plate and it should not be that. What it should be is it should be increasing the student's desired behavior. What do you want the students to do? and then also reinforcing positive things. So how does the school set it up? The first thing is, what do you wanna change? Dream big here, think of the big things you wanna change, and then PBIS comes in to build the steps along the way to get that big change. The second thing is, how are you going to reinforce it? What are you going to do to motivate these students? Most of the schools I've been at, they gave teachers papers, and we handed the student a paper like, great job, you brought a pencil today, or great job for being on time. And from there, it was out of our hands. The students took the papers, they turned them into a box, or they turned them into the person collecting them, and that was handled out of the teacher's hands. How do you know it's working? Well, those paper slips are one great way to know whether it's working or not. Are those boxing boxes getting full? Are a lot getting turned in? Then the next thing is, what are your next steps? So when you notice that your school is accomplishing the first step, it's time to go the next step. You've got to keep reaching, keep improving, keep pushing the students, keep pushing the staff. So what does it look like? It's a growth over time. Like I shared, this is almost my 10th year doing PBIS. And in the beginning, it started off with three slips of paper a day. I gave out three slips of paper a day to students. That was it. Now I can acknowledge five or six students in each class period, but it's taken time. So you have to start small, start at one step. What is this one thing you want students to be able to do? Um, in my classroom, I want them to bring a pencil and that's a very important thing. Bring something to write with. And then from there, students need to have a buy-in. Okay, you have to keep them motivated. What are you gonna keep putting out there that they really want? Um, and I'll talk about this more in my classroom video, but my kids love stickers. And I teach middle school and high schoolers and they love stickers. So for them, it's stickers. So it doesn't have to be something expensive. If your school is looking at bigger things, there's plenty of local businesses and large companies that will help you out. Once you have a good system going, you have to be consistent. It has to be every teacher every day it's why you have to keep it simple also because you can't add more work on the teachers if more work's added on them then it's going to be hard for them to keep it consistent and then the other piece is dream big what's that ultimate goal and try to reach it and take each step and make it closer to that goal and sometimes you might have to take a step back and that's okay but keep working towards that goal so I just wanted to say thanks to slides to go for the free slides. If you would like to see my classroom video, I'm gonna break down how I use this in my classroom.